Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in to the Gallatin Civic Center, Gallatin, Tennessee, and the people here in Gallatin and the people watching everywhere have been waiting for this one. The man known as Crimson taking on Chase Stevens. These two men have been in wars to this point. Tonight, though, more at stake between Crimson and Chase Stevens than has been in the past as the SAW belt look at physique of that man, the SAW belt ultimately on the line here in this first round matchup in the final four for the SAW International Heavyweight Championship, our tournament going on here tonight in Gallatin, the winner of this matchup between Crimson and Chase Stevens will take on the winner of the Kid Cash, Chris Michaels match to follow. Again, these two men have been in absolute ring wars outside of ring wars as well. In fact, Crimson DDT'd Chase Stevens on the concrete floor at the Stadium Inn, a, a moment that uh, anybody there will certainly not forget. And there you see the man, Chase Stevens. Wow, this crowd is absolutely ready for this one. And you can tell that Crimson is ready for this one as well. Chase Stevens. These two men have actually measured themselves against each other here in SAW, I believe, over the past several months. And this match right here, this match tonight, I guarantee you a big moment in each of their minds, a big moment in their careers right here, of course. Crimson with that undefeated streak going in TNA. A loss here certainly wouldn't affect that as it were, but obviously would be, well, calamitous to say the least. For Chase Stevens, SAW, this is territory that he has been a part of for some time now, a champion here in SAW. And I'm sure he wants to hold that line for SAW. This should be one, just one hell of a matchup. And we're glad that you're here with us again live from Gallatin, Tennessee. I am Michael Graham, proud to bring you this matchup between two of the best that we have. And if I may be so bold to say so, in professional wrestling today, Chase Stevens and Crimson here in an SAW ring. Joe Williams, the man in the middle, again, this is one of two matches, the final four for the SAW International Heavyweight Championship Tournament. And we are just about to get underway. A true big fight feel in this building right now. The bell has rung. Look at the intensity and the focus of these two men right now. And this crowd is amped, amped. You can actually feel electricity, a, a, a real sort of anticipation of this one. And here we go, a lock up and immediately to the right hands. It's Chase Stevens and Crimson, look at them. Share, just blow for blow in the center of the ring. We expected nothing less than an absolute war. It has begun that way. Shoved into the corner is Chase Stevens. He comes out still with the right hands. And now Crimson will take over and have the first advantage. He knocked Chase back into that second corner. Chase Stevens firing out of that with the blows to the midsection. Crimson now. Oh, look at the heavy lumber already being thrown here. Big right hands from both Crimson and from Chase Stevens. That one staggered Stevens. He comes back with a haymaker of his own. Crimson in kind. My goodness, it has started just as we anticipated. These two men have been locked in wars before, and this one has started out much the same. Three straight right hands, though, from Chase Stevens, and it looks like he will take an early advantage of this one now. You can see Joe Williams, I would say, futilely trying to get Chase Stevens to open that right hand, but he runs right into that boot, does Stevens there, and now Crimson will unload with a right hand to the defenseless Chase Stevens, the former SAW champion, into the ropes, big back elbow from Crimson, and down goes Stevens, and a cover, one, and a one count only. 
No doubt these two men have been looking forward to facing each other. There is no doubt about that. But also, keep in mind, there is championship gold at the end of this road. This is a Final Four matchup in a tournament to determine the new SAW champion. Chase Stevens, Crimson, both have that in mind, too. I have no doubt. Oh, Chase Stevens, after being blinded by having those eyes raked across that top rope, walked right into that right hand for Crimson, and it staggered him badly. Now, Russian leg sweep in the center of the ring. Here's a cover, one, and a two count, the first two count of the match. And now choking the man is Chase Stevens, excuse me, is Crimson in the center of the ring there, trying to wear Stevens down even further. Use that count from the referee, Joe Williams. And now a bit of an arrogant move, I would say, here from Crimson, just stepping on the throat. Now, raking the boot across the face, the temple. Still to come tonight in Gallatin, Tennessee, Kid Cash takes on Chris Michaels. Nice suplex right there. Another cover, one, two. Crimson, an interesting game plan here with the early covers, and I have to believe knowing that if he wins this match, he still has another match to go for that SAW championship. That must be part of his thinking, trying to get a quick win here. That war of attrition will certainly be a part of this when we come to that championship match later on here in Gallatin, Tennessee. Back into the corner once again now is Stevens digging that shoulder deep into the midsection is Crimson again into the midsection. Another dynamic to remember. Crimson, that undefeated streak in TNA. The, oh my goodness, hard into the turnbuckle goes Chase Stevens, a man formerly a champion in TNA, a longtime tag team champion, in fact, in that organization. Do not think that that is not on Chase Stevens' mind here. So many dynamics going on in this matchup. And here in Gallatin, oh, a thrust to the throat. But here in Gallatin, Tennessee, in general, SAW absolutely on fire right now. Big forearm misses there, excuse me, clothesline, but it is a forearm off the ropes that it hits for Chase Stevens. And now, once again, it is Crimson down on the mat. Chase Stevens, however, unable to follow up immediately as he has taken quite a bit of punishment here in the past several minutes. Shot to the back right there in the kidney with the boot. Nice job by Chase Stevens, just as Crimson got to his feet, that shot debilitated him, made it possible for Chase Stevens to take over into the ropes and then into the back elbow goes Crimson. Now here's a cover from Chase Stevens at a one, two. Great crowd here in Gallatin, Tennessee, witnessing this one. One of the biggest matches in SAW history. One of the biggest nights, oh, jawbreaker. One of the biggest nights in SAW history as we crown a new champion tonight. The vacated SAW belt will be handed to a worthy champion tonight. You can be assured of that with this final four that we have, including this matchup in this semifinal between Crimson and Chase Stevens. And now Chase Stevens is in trouble in the center of the ring. As you can see, Crimson's got that European style. In. The vice grip. Uh, you can see Chase Stevens feel the effects of that instantly. Joe Williams doing a great job. He's in there making sure this is not a choke. It appears to be completely right, oh, but he broke it a bit there. Stevens trying to break out of this a bit. Crimson trying to hold on to smooth. Once again, Williams will check and make sure that it is under the chin and not around and across the throat. And it looks like Stevens. Stevens is fading it here. And Crimson is trying to put Stevens out in the center of the ring. Stevens is fading. And Joe Williams is there ready and in position. You can hear the fans here. They want to see Chase Stevens back to his feet. I, I have to say a bit of a mixed crowd here. Some people, if I'm not mistaken, rooting for both of these men. Just hoping to see a great match. And we've seen one thus far. And we may have just seen the end of it. No, only once does the arm fall. Chase Stevens still with fight left in him. Though Crimson, it seems, has that locked in tight. Now Stevens will try. Look at him roll into it. That will alleviate some of the pressure. And now it is completely broken. Crimson will try to re relace those fingers. Instead now, we'll have to resort to those knees. What a resort that is. Oh, and look at Chase Stevens get up with a huge drop kick. 
giving away several inches in height to Crimson, yet still getting that drop kick up under the chin of the bigger man is Chase Stevens. What a maneuver right there. The count is on. Joe Williams with both men being counted now, neither of them able to get back to their feet. Both of them stirring, and it looks like now Chase Stevens will find a vertical base first or at least get back to one knee. Crimson with the aid of the ropes trying to make it back to his feet, does so. Stevens now still feeling the effects of the punishment he took earlier, and a big right hand right there. Stevens off the ropes, however, throws a right hand of its own, and it's back to what we saw early in this matchup with huge right hands for both men. Down goes Stevens in the center of the ring with that one, and again right to the temple with that right hand. Crimson just teeing off on the man right now, and a big boot to put the exclamation point on it. I expected for a moment him to go immediately for a cover there instead. Maybe some showboating, now a cover, a hook of the leg, and a two count for Crimson in this one. Chase Stevens, we have seen the resiliency from him at times when it appeared there was no chance for him to continue in a matchup. He has done so at times when it appeared perhaps the referee should step in or even, even uh, to, to remember watching Chase Stevens at the Nashville State Fairgrounds come off of that balcony through that table in that matchup against Andy Douglas that will never be forgotten. I wondered if we'd ever see Chase Stevens in a ring again when he took that dive off that balcony onto the concrete floor. But ladies and gentlemen, he's not only back in SAW, he's fighting in a final four situation here for the SAW championship against the man known as Crimson, the undefeated Crimson from TNA. But right now it is Crimson that is owning this one over Chase Stevens. It has been a back and forth. Oh, look at the athleticism. Look at the athleticism as Chase Stevens somersaults to his feet and three big right hands. And now it is Crimson, the man in trouble. Just as I begin to think that Crimson is trying to put on the coup de grace. Scissors kick, scissors kick from Chase Stevens. And down goes Crimson. Here's a cover. One, two, no. Kicking out once again. Kicking out once again is Crimson. Chase Stevens out of nowhere flipped to his feet and took Crimson completely by surprise. You can see now, wait, Crimson trying to actually dive out of the ring here. Crimson actually trying to escape the SAW ring at least for a moment. He does so as the referee, Joe Williams, breaks the, the hold of Chase Stevens there in the ropes. Chase Stevens will follow now Crimson outside. Right up into the front row, and he'll use that front row and the chair in the front row to his advantage will Chase Stevens, and Crimson may be in trouble here. Crimson down on the floor of the Gallatin Civic Center here, and Chase Stevens hovering over him. Joe Williams is showing a tremendous amount of res restraint here. Keep in mind that this is a Final Four matchup in our tournament for the SAW Championship. Oh no, and now a chair being introduced to the proceedings, and you can see Joe Williams cannot have that. Perhaps no count at this point, but he cannot have a, a weapon being used like that. And now, this one is breaking down a bit. Oh, into that stage area goes the forehead of Chase Stevens in Oh my goodness. And you can see we are right now fully amid the fans here. Oh, into those metal bleachers. Joe Williams again showing a tremendous amount of restraint here. It's almost a, a situation where you don't want to call the match. You don't want to call the game because of what is still to come. But at some point, he has got to get these men back in the ring. This is not an extreme rules match. This is not a falls count anywhere match. So I got to imagine, ladies and gentlemen, that Joe Williams has got to start. And if I'm not mistaken, there is now, there is, well, there is referee Joe Williams. He began to gesture as though there was a count on. And the count is on now. There is a double count on now. I, I give credit again to Joe Williams for showing the restraint. No, no, wait a minute. Chase Stevens is looking to suplex Crimson off this stage. Onto the concrete flow, a low blow, a low blow. But ladies and gentlemen, that may have, I shudder to think. Meanwhile, 
Me, oh no, into the concrete wall, into the cinder block wall here. And ladies and gentlemen, Joe Williams has reached eight on the count and nine. And that's it. This one has been counted out, if I'm not mistaken. Crimson and Chase Stevens have taken this personal battle to the outside. You can see an aluminum can smashed against the skull. And you can see, well, you can see Crimson's, I think that was his reaction to the referee and to the bell ringing here at the, at, I have to immediately wonder what has happened now to the final four, what has now happened to our tournament for the SAW championship. And you can see that Chase Stevens is being beaten here by Crimson in amidst the fans, amongst the fans at the Gallatin Civic Center here in Gallatin, Tennessee. At this point, we have absolutely no extra security out here. Only those that are helping keep these two giants away from our fans. Oh no, oh no. Look at him smash the head of, wait a minute now, off the, no, off the, onto the floor. Of the, look at him slide across the, this is unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to get some order here. Crimson just threw Chase Stevens Halfway across a basketball court, ladies and gentlemen, off a stage here at the Gallatin Civic Center. You can see Chase Stevens now just flailing at anything that moves, including our referee, Joanne. Crimson's not done. Crimson is not done. I suppose he saw signs of life and wanted to now look at him use that chair to choke the life out of Chase Stevens. This match has been thrown out, but Crimson is not finished yet. And oh! Chase Stevens, did he get a kick in just there? Oh, but that offense won't last long. We have got to get some help out here for Chase Stevens at this point now. Oh! This man from, you know, this man now, in, there, there is help out here now. As you see wrestlers from our backstage locker room area have now, my goodness. You know, Crimson, undefeated in TNA, still has his personal issue, obviously, with Chase Stevens. And for this to break down to this point is one thing, but to try to end the man's career here in SAW. Oh, and look out, Chase Stevens now is broken away, and Chase Stevens is all over Crimson at this point. And you can see Jeremiah Plunkett, you can see the Scarbonis, Chris Kane, referee, security personnel trying to pull these men apart. Chaos is reigning here in Gallatin, Tennessee. The match has been thrown out, and again, it was a Final Four match for the SAW Championship Tournament. Crimson now, Crimson back on Chase Stevens. These fans are all standing, fans all over the arena trying to get a look at this, what has turned into a street brawl. Oh, look, look at Crimson, he's only Offense or those headbutts is the only thing he has to throw at Chase Stevens is he's throwing those. Chase Stevens trying anything he can to get to this man. More wrestlers have come out of the back. More SAW superstars to keep these two men apart. You see Johnny Bandana and Cody Melton now. You see Derek King out here trying to keep Crimson at bay. What has this done to what has this done to our tournament? Where do we these are all, this is chaotic, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely chaotic. Crimson and Chase Stevens. You can see Chase Stevens back in the ring, wanting more. But this one is over, this one is over. What? Well, Ladies and gentlemen, I am trying desperately to find out not only, I, I am trying desperately to find out how this affects our tournament, what the status of our, of our tournament is. We still have a final four match to go, but this match and these two men have been thrown out. And you can see that it is taking several of our SAW superstars to even restrain Crimson to the point to get him out of this arena at this point. Chase Stevens in the ring, and I believe that's where Crimson would be if he had 
even half a notion. You can see the crowd wants to see Crimson and Chase Stevens back in this ring. You see, Reno Riggins, I am, I'm going to try desperately here to find out exactly. I'm going to find out how exactly this is affecting our tournament here. But from what I understand, the referee is pulling this match out. Is that correct? That is correct. No, it's Due not. to a double count out, both Chase and Tommy Mercer have been eliminated no. from the tournament. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. No. Okay. Now, no, wait, okay. Now, just. Five more Tommy Mercer, Crimson. They've been eliminated from this tournament, is that correct? That is correct, okay. yes. Now, okay, we still will have a number one contendership in situation, obviously, to get to. But if I read these cards right, what you're telling us now is that the other half of our bracket, Kid Cash and Chris Michaels, is. Oh, shit. Ladies and gentlemen, Chase Stevens just, this is absolutely chaotic. Crimson just rushed out of the back. Chase Stevens with the plunge over the top. And once again, we have chaos reigning here. Wrestlers from the locker room area trying to separate. We have Reno Riggins amid all this. We have security personnel here right in our front row in Gallatin, Tennessee. This has completely broken down into an absolute brawl, one that we are trying desperately even to avoid having happen here. I cannot imagine. I cannot. These two men need to be separated now. The ramifications of all this now has begun to really, we really need to get these men separated. And ladies and gentlemen, I almost got out of my mouth. I am, I believe, if I'm reading these cards right, Kid Cash, V. Chris Michaels will now be for the SAW Championship, but that's still to come. We still have these two men brawling here in the floor of the Gallatin Civic Center. Chase Stevens simply cannot be held back. Crimson is having to be held back only by massive men and several of them laying across the top of him on the floor here of this venue. I, I do not know what else. This must be stopped. This must be separated at this point for several, I think, of legal ramifications at this point that we need to be aware of. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you can see Jesse Emerson right in front of me here. The Scarbonis. Uh, Jeremiah Plunkett, you see Reno get, is wisely getting out of the way, and I'm not sure this one's over. The streets of Gallatin may not be safe tonight, ladies and gentlemen.